Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. So today I thought I would do a flip through of my completed journal, which is this one here. Um, I got this journal from Big W for $6 and I just love the colour on this journal. Um, so this is journal number 16. Um, please excuse my nails, they are horrible, but I meant to film the other day and I just... I wasn't in the mood so um since then i've you know been doing the dishes and housework and stuff so um i do apologize for that but i really want to get this video um up on my channel um so as you can see here on the inside cover i use some washi tape um just to kind of strengthen that part there um i notice that it always seems to rip uh, once you start getting further in the journal and because I like to add a lot of stuff um, it just kind of helps it to not break um, at the spine and as you can see here I use a bunch of random stickers this here is a die cut and I just use my alpha stickers there to write down Nat's creative journals and I used a journal card to write down the date so I started Friday the 20th of March 2020 and I finished on Friday the 24th of April 2020 um, and here I just laid down some scrapbook paper and then this here also came from a scrapbook paper pad okay so here uh, this was my daughter's 14th birthday so I did a really pretty layout for her and I was using some of the new washi tape that I got from uh, Spotlight here I did a um, Minnie Mouse page. I just had some stickers, um, so I thought I'd use those up. Um, so here I love this layout, um, using a lot of stickers from the American Craft Sticker Book and just other random stickers. And I used a lot of washi tape as well. Um, so here I was kind of recording the numbers of COVID-19 in Australia and internationally as well. And I love this washi tape down here. It's so pretty. Um, it's just real cutesy and that's the kind of style that I like. Um, absolutely love this layout. So um, these super tiny little stickers here, like the unicorn and this like old laptop or computer and then we've got the sunglasses the gem and the skate uh skating oh, what are they called roller skates jeez <laughs> um the roller skates and the tiny little um rainbow these stickers came from daiso and they kind of came on this roll um and they are super cute so i thought i'd use them up because i haven't really used them in my journal um, I don't have many of them. I think that's why I kind of didn't want to use them, um, you know, so quickly. Um, but I just really love this layout, the way I've used the stickers and that. And then I used uh, the Paper Mate um, Enjoy Gel pens. Not a big fan of this layout here, um, but I was using highlighters. Um, in the background there to color the page and this is new washi tape from spotlight But there's going to be you know pages in your journal that you're probably not going to like and that's okay um, So here I did a COVID-19 update. So I just kind of wrote down all the um, numbers um, You know cases that are in Australia and um, around the world and I wrote down the restrictions because this was about the time where there was like a whole bunch of rules that, you know, had to be applied and uh, we were pretty much in self-quarantine at that time. So, uh, yeah, and as you can see, I didn't really do too much decorating on that page. Um, so this page here, I used up um, new washi tape from Spotlight and some stickers out of an American craft sticker book, I don't know. It might have been Paige Evans' um, sticker book, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, and then I just found some really cute stickers. And I think I created this page around the time that um, Danny from Paper Worms Cat here on YouTube um, was doing her journal with me videos, which I really enjoyed. Um... Here I did a red theme. I used the red washi tape and then I just kind of 
try to find red stickers in my collection to um, add to the layout. And here I have my new washi tapes that I got from Spotlight. I absolutely love this one here with the flowers. It's like watercolored. It is so pretty. Um, so at the time Spotlight had a deal um, that it was like, you know, take a further 50% off clearance items and they're all on clearance. So I think I picked each tube up for either six dollars or seven dollars fifty and i did pick up the yellow and orange tube um which had these washi tapes in um for three dollars which was really good or 350 no i think it was 350 so um yeah i was really happy with that and at the time like you know australia didn't really go into lockdown um there were still places open like spotlight and big w and kmart and the reject shop so um we were still able to kind of go out but it was really you know on a necessary kind of you know essential business sort of thing but at the time i was just like i really need to get out of the house so i did a bit of shopping and that um you know so anyways um, here, I absolutely love this layout. I use a lot of cute stickers. As you can see, I've got mermaids and uh, unicorns. Cute again. I just love this layout as well, using up just random stickers in my sticker collection. So here I tried to do a blue theme. Um, so I was trying to find stickers um, that were blue and yeah sometimes it's a little bit hard because you kind of got to go through all of your stickers and i have like a million stickers to go through but you know it was fun to do um so i absolutely love this layout here i use these new alpha stickers that i got from the reject shop and they are so pretty um so yeah and i love the washi tape as well so the end of March, um, I did a little tip in here. Um, so yeah, I I need to do that more. I think I need to use up more supplies, like different supplies um, in my layouts. So here I did a calendar. Um, I don't know. I just felt like doing a sticker bomb calendar. <laughs> I, you know, not much was going on. So it's not like I would have you know written heaps of things that was happening in april since we were all you know having to stay home um but i used up a lot of um, easter stickers um so i again used a lot of easter stickers in some of these layouts as you will see as we flip through um absolutely love the stickers that i found most of them came from spotlight and the reject shop and i did pick some up at um a few other different variety discount stores but they are so cute so i've got so many um easter stickers now uh little sticker books and all these different easter sticker sheets um so yeah uh, these ones came out of a sticker book that i got from spotlight so here i did a bit of a um blue theme and I thought it turned out really pretty. Um, okay, so I did an orange theme here. Um, but I don't think I really felt like going through my stickers looking for orange stickers. Um, but I wrote in orange pen and I thought it turned out pretty nice. And then here I did a red theme. And yeah, I... I don't know I just felt like color coding so I did a bit of a pink ish theme and then I did a blue theme again I think <laughs> um, and picked out some really cute stickers there I absolutely love the llama I did a yellow theme And a purple theme, which I thought turned out really pretty. And then here, I just felt like writing a lot. So as you can see, it doesn't even, you know, 
go nice together at all it didn't suit but I didn't care I just had a lot to write about so I didn't worry about decorating um, and then we go back to um, Easter theme um, so Easter Sunday um, I did a lot of decorating with the Easter stickers um, and I think it turned out really nice like these stickers here um, I think they came from the reject shop um, and they were just super cute and then I went to the reject shop a couple of weeks after Easter and they had these sheets for 20 cents each so I grabbed quite a few of them so I've got plenty of Easter stickers to last me for a couple of years because it was one thing that I didn't really have much of was Easter stickers so another Easter theme using up a lot of my stickers uh, so here I used up some different washi tape and yeah I, I thought this turned out really cute and pretty I absolutely love this layout as well just using different random stickers from my sticker collection and then I did an Easter sticker bomb which I absolutely love doing like these are my favorite pages I just love to lay down a whole heap of stickers um, it's so therapeutic and yeah it's just really really nice I thought this layout was pretty cute and then I did another Easter sticker bomb um, and like I said I've got tons of Easter stickers I just kind of felt in the mood to kind of lay down a lot of stickers it was just during that time and like quarantine you just don't have much to do and you don't really have much to write about and yeah it was just something that I felt like doing um love this layout here I think it's super fun and really cute And then here is another bunch of washi tapes that I got from Spotlight, which I thought were really, really pretty. Like this washi tape here is just gorgeous. Like how pretty is that? And I just love this washi too. So pretty. And this one is super pretty as well. Like those flowers, they're just gorgeous. So I picked those up from Spotlight and I was using the new washi tape um, and I actually like this layout. This is something that I don't normally do like this style, um, the stickers that I've used, um, you know what I'm like, I, I like cute, bright rainbow type you know stickers and um it was just this washi tape that i thought was so pretty so i did something different um using up a lot of random stickers out of my sticker collection um and i bought these new stickers they're kind of like soft puffy stickers but i used it anyway because i was nearing the end of my journal so it didn't matter um you know it wasn't really going to bulk up my journal just using up some stickers um, and different washi tapes that I haven't used in a while like this one here that's so pretty love this layout as well this llama is so cute so I got these new American Craft sticker books that had these super cute animal stickers in them. Um, I might do a haul because I did, like over this whole quarantine um, period, I did, um, I did kind of start accumulating a lot of journal supplies and I just haven't had the time to share them. Um, so I might do a uh, haul video. But I love this layout here. It's so pretty and just using up those stickers that I got from the American Craft sticker book. Um, so cute. And that's it. Yep. 
and then I just basically used some die cuts um, from my die cut collection I've got so many of them and a journal card and the rest are stickers I just love this Dalmatian here it's so cute um, so yeah I just kind of finished that off and yeah so that is journal number 16 as you can see she kind of bulked up there a little bit um, so yeah I absolutely love this journal I have another one of these um, that I got from Big W so I'm really happy with that I'm on to journal number 17 which is this one here it is a grit uh, grid dot whatever you call it um, journal and I haven't really done anything on the inside cover yet which I will get around to doing but as you can see um, that's all I've done um, and yeah I've got a fair bit to go but um, yeah I've got I've really got to catch up on my journaling because I'm a bit behind which is okay um, I've been really wanting to do some journal with me videos it's just I need to get in the mood um, to do those videos but um, yeah I really want to get this up for you guys because um, it's been a while since I've uh, put a video up so um, I don't know we'll see if we've got time to do um, a haul video and I'll share with you guys the new things that I got um, over quarantine time um, but yeah thank you guys for joining me I hope you enjoyed this flip through if you did please give it a big thumbs up I would really appreciate it and thanks for your kind comments as well um, if you have any questions just leave them down in the comment section below and I will get back to you so thanks for joining me and I will see you next time bye